Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Craig How. It's Craig How. <laughs> With an episode 31. Uh, we've got painting number 22 of the 48. I've got a fictitious letter with a fictitious question. I've got a uh, painting, a uh, refreshment stand, and also uh, Throwback Thursday, Journey to Yukazoo, slide number seven. And musical guest for ending credits is John Hardwick with another piano piece. With that, let's start. Episode 31, we start off with one of the 48 primary paintings that are in the art storybook that I'm creating. And this episode, it's painting number 22, and we're going to look at the doodle, the worksheet, and the finished painting. Easel time. <laughs> See you in a second. Hello, Bob. Uh, thank you. Uh, this grouping of shapes right here, I had a very strong interest in. At the same time, I had a very difficult time in working out a design for it. And here you can see all the pencil work that I did before I could even get it to the worksheet phase. And here's the full size 12 by 12 inch worksheet. And here's the finished painting. It's titled back to back 12 by 12 inches oil on canvas. And you just saw painting number 22 of the 48. So next up. Well, hey, I've got a fictitious letter. <laughs> well, actually, I've had a fictitious letter. Uh, this is from Homer Not As Little, all the way from Hawaii. And it starts off, Dear Craig, Aloha. <laughs> hey, Aloha to you. Uh, it goes on, I like the slideshow in episode 27 of On Your Color Slides. A great mock-up, drive-in movie theater. Thank you. Uh, my question is, uh, did you just do color photography during those years in college, or did you ever do any black and white photography? And it's signed, Aloha Homer. <laughs> P.S. Uh, like the others, I'm waving high, but it's Aloha, and I'm waving a lay. Uh, the answer is uh, no and yes. Uh, no, uh, the college I was attending did not have black and white photography. And after taking the color photography, I had a desire to take to do black and white photography. So I had to look around. This was when I was about 23. So that's about right here. And what I had to do was I had to uh, find another college. So I searched around, found one that had black and white photography nearby. There was a glitch though. Uh, the classes were, the class was full. Undaunted, undaunted, <laughs> I went to the first class and talked to the instructor to see if I could at least sit in for a couple classes to see if anybody dropped out. And lo and behold, <laughs> some second class, somebody dropped out and I was in, in. Uh, black and white photography. A lot of dark room work, uh, a lot of in the dark doing stuff. And so what you had to do was I had got my black and white film, got it in the camera, took a whole lot of pictures. You had to take it out. And then you had to get the film, the negatives, out of this little canister and into this canister in the dark. And so what I'm going to do is, through some visuals, I'm going to show you the steps, the process of getting it from negatives all the way up to print film. Let's go. Okay, remember you're in the dark, and you're doing all this in the dark. Once you have the film out of this little metal casing, you're going to transfer it to this container. And the film itself has to be wound around on this spool or reel, and it has to be wound around in such a way so that none of the film is touching any other part of itself. Once it's on the reel, then you're going to put it into the container. The next steps are the pre-wash, the developer, the stop bath, the fixer, and then rinse, and then voila. Once the film's out of the canister, <laughs> you're going to hang it up to dry. And then when it dries, you're going to select which exposure you want to work with. Take that down, and then you're going to head over to the enlarger to make your prints. 
You put the negatives in the tray or the film carrier. You slip the carrier under the light housing slash enlarger head and the light passes through the negative onto the photo print paper at the base. Once that's done, you take the photo paper and you take it over to where there's three trays. First one has your developer, slip it in there. Once it's in there for a while, you take it out into the stop bath that stops the developing process. And then you take it out of there, put it into the fixer, and whoa, you've got a print for prosperity. Now, here are some of the photos that I took and developed during that course. Got birds in flight. And this is a sign at a reservoir on a foggy day. And this is a double exposure using the same negative, I and I. And this is another double exposure. Uh, this is using one negative of a leaf and another negative of a tree. So there you have it, just an outline, not an in-depth look into how to develop black and white photography as we did back in the old, old, old days when I was a young man. <laughs> but it, at least it gives you a taste of what we had to go through in developing black and white photography and also a, a little bit on my journey of becoming an artist. Uh, with that, uh, we're go I'm going to go back to the painting with the refreshment stand. I'm going to change my clothes into my painting duds, and I'll be right back. Painting. <laughs> I did not fib. I did not lie. I did not mislead. Uh, I did paint. <laughs> I filmed it. Tripod, camera, over the shoulder, everything. Uh, done. But it's just not going to fit time-wise into this episode, along with the art show stuff, the, the Throwback Thursday, the fictitious letter and everything. I'm going to hold all that film, edit it, and have it into next episode. Uh, so with that, I'm going to move on to the art show. Yes, <laughs> an art show. <laughs>